everybody. I thought I'd show you my first layout in my big happy planner that I'm using as a memory planner. And this is the one I chose. I don't think it had a special name on it, but it's really beautiful with the florals and the black and white stripe and the pink rings. And it's an 18 month planner. I added a six month extension pack in so I could go back to the beginning of the year and do some things. And I didn't want to wait till July to start, of course. And then I took some of the later months. I went through December of this year, left in here, and I took some of the later months and stored them. And if I'm going to use this for a full two years, I'll have to get some bigger rings because they won't all fit in here for sure. So the things I used are use this memory planning for the big grande <laughs> happy planner and just really cute things in here. And I used a I used a lot of stickers this week. I used this. Clearly Kelly Stamp on the Go set by Hero Arts, and it's all about travel. I use the packing list, the little checklist, the suitcase, and the car, I think. That's all I used. I used some chalk ink, which I think works best in planners to not bleed through. I used this little permanent adhesive that I received um, at the Scrapbook Expo. And I so most of these stickers, this noted sticker that says who, what, where, and when, and that was from this um, sticker book. This document is from the sticker book. Happy, girls just want to have fun, road trip. This is some washi that I had that says life is a journey. And that's pictured the inside of the hotel, which was gorgeous. The Gaylord Hotel, the Gaylord Texan in Grapevine, Texas is where we were. That's another picture. It looks like the river walk running through. It's really pretty. And that's my daughter and granddaughter. Um, having pina coladas, of course, one did not have alcohol and one did, <laughs> but she was so happy to have that pina colada with the fruit in it and everything. And there's a picture of she and I, and you know, the crazy thing is there's one picture of me at this trip and there's no pictures that I have anyway of my friend Sharon. Maybe she did some selfies and she has them, but I don't have any. So I think we were so taking pictures of my granddaughter and all the beautiful scenery and everything. We forgot to get in the picture, so we need to do better about that. Anyway, all of this was just from the trip, and on the way home, we took, well, on the way there, we did a little bit, but on the way home, we stopped, actually, a few places, and we took the scenic route. We said, no highways, you know, avoid the highways if possible, and we stopped at the little town of Glen Rose. We stopped at the little town of Belleville. We just, and I can't remember where we found this restaurant, and it was so good. I forgot totally where we were. But anyway, it, we had peanut butter pie for dessert, which I haven't had in years and years. And so food coma. <laughs> we were so full, and then we had more driving to do to get home, or I did anyway. I was driving. So I think that I need to get the color story. Don't you think I need another pack of stickers? Of course. The color story for the big happy planner, because I'd like some more of these decorative stickers, too, that go especially with this planner. Okay, so I don't have one of those fancy cameras or um, I think they're camera printers combination that prints out like sticky photos that perk the snap, I think it's called, that perfectly fit this. So what I do have is a Canon selfie, the CP910, and I went to pickmonkey.com and I uploaded my pictures and I used their um, feature that does a collage what they call the collage feature. And what I did was it looks like this and I rotated it and then I put one picture here, two pictures here, and they came out perfectly. So the picture that went at the top is exactly the size of two boxes, a little shorter, but the width of two boxes. And then these fit almost exactly one box each, the other two photos. And if I told it when I was printing to size to fit, then it, it, didn't cut off the pictures as much, the area that wouldn't fit, and it shrank them down, and I got some little ones that fit also. So it was really fun to kind of figure out what would fit in here and play around with it. I'm looking forward to kind of coming up with some other ideas too, because this is a very photo heavy on one end of the week, but that's how it worked out. Um, but in future weeks, it, it probably won't be like that. I'm looking forward to kind of figuring out how I'm going to place my photos and how I want to document things. And anyway, it's, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun to uh, keep up with this memory planner. Anyway, that's what I have for this week. And I really appreciate you watching and happy planning, everybody.